But when you talk about apology, I think the one that you should really be apologizing for and the thing that you should be apologizing for are the 33,000 emails that you deleted and that you acid washed. And then the two boxes of emails and other things last week that were taken from an office and are now missing. And I'll tell you what, I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it, and I hate to say it, but if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation, because there has never been so many lies, so much deception, there has never been anything like it. And we're going to have a special prosecutor. When I speak, I go out and speak, the people of this country are furious. In my opinion, the people that have been long-term workers at the FBI are furious. There has never been anything like this where emails and you get a subpoena, you get a subpoena, and after getting the subpoena, you delete 33 thousand emails and then you acid wash them or bleach them as you would say a very expensive process so we're going to get a special prosecutor and we're going to look into it because you know what people have been their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done and it's a disgrace and honestly you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself Clinton, no, i want to follow let, up let, on that yeah, i'm going to let, let you talk about it because everything he just said is absolutely false but i'm not oh, surprised really? in the first debate and we in the really, first the debate, audience needs to I calm told down people here. that it would be impossible to be fact-checking Donald all the time. I'd never get to talk about anything I want to do and how we're going to really uh, make lives better for people. So once again, go to HillaryClinton.com. We have literally Trump. You can fact-check him, fact -check, fact -check him in real time. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people. Uh, fact-checking, so I expect we'll have millions more fact-checking uh, because, you know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. We want to remind the audience to please not uh, talk out loud. Please do not applaud. You're just wasting time. And, and Secretary Clinton, I do want to follow up on emails. You've said your handling of your emails was a mistake. You disagreed with Director, FBI Director James Comey, calling your handling of classified information, quote, extremely careless. The FBI said that there were 110 classified emails that were exchanged, eight of which were top secret, and that it was possible hostile actors did gain access to those emails. You don't call that extremely careless? Well, Martha, first let me say, and I've said it before, but I'll repeat it because I want everyone to hear it. That was a mistake, and I take responsibility for using a personal email account. Uh, obviously, if I were to do it over again, I would not. I'm not making any excuses. Uh, it was a mistake, and I am very uh, sorry about that. But I think it's also important uh, to point out where there are some misleading accusations from critics and others. Uh, after a year-long investigation, there is no evidence that anyone hacked the server I was using, and there is no evidence that anyone uh, can point to at all, anyone who says otherwise has no basis, that any classified material ended up in the wrong hands. I take classified materials very seriously and always have. When I was on the Senate Armed Services Committee, I was privy to a lot of classified material. Obviously, as Secretary of State, I had some of the most important secrets uh, that we possess, such as going after bin Laden. Uh, so I am very committed to taking classified information seriously. And as I said, there is no evidence uh, that any classified information ended up in the wrong hands. Okay, we're going to move on. And yet she didn't know the word, the letter C, on a document, right? She didn't even know what that word, what that letter meant. You know, it's amazing. I'm watching Hillary go over facts, and she's going after fact after fact, and she's lying again because she said she, you know, what she did with the emails was fine. You think it was fine to delete 33,000 emails? I don't think so. She said the 33,000 emails had to do with her 
daughter's wedding, number one, and a yoga class. Well, maybe we'll give three or three or four or five or something. 33,000 emails deleted. And now she's saying there wasn't anything wrong. And more importantly, that was after getting a subpoena. That wasn't before. That was after. She got it from the United States Congress. And I'll be honest, I am so disappointed in congressmen, including Republicans, for allowing this to happen. Our Justice Department, where her husband goes on to the back of an airplane for 39 minutes, talks to the Attorney General days before a ruling is going to be made on her case. But for you to say that there was nothing wrong with you deleting 39,000 emails, again, you should be ashamed of yourself. What you did, and this is after getting a subpoena from the United States Congress. We have to move if on. You Secretary Clinton, that, you can respond, second, and then we got to move on. We, we want to give the audience a, a, sector, a chance you'd be put here. In jail, let alone after getting a subpoena from the United States Secretary Congress. Secretary Clinton, you can respond, then we have to move on to an audience question. Look. It's just not true, and so please you, oh, go you didn't to delete them? allow her to respond, delete please. Personal emails, not oh, official. Thirty-three yeah, thousand. Not right. well. We turned over thirty-five thousand. So oh, yeah. it was. What about the other fifteen thousand? Uh, please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true. I didn't. And I did it in the say. first debate, and uh, I'm going to try not to in this debate because uh, I'd like to get to the questions that the people have brought here tonight uh, to talk to us about. And get off this question. Okay, Donald, I know you're into big diversion tonight, anything to avoid talking about your campaign and the way it's exploding and the way Republicans are leaving you, but well, let's, let's, let's at least focus on some response. of the let's issues that people care about tonight. Let's get to their question. We have a question here from Ken Karpowitz. He has a question about health care. Ken? I'd like to know, Anderson, why aren't you bringing up the emails? I'd like to know. Why aren't you we getting brought up to the, the emails. bottom? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. And it hasn't been finished at all. Ken Carpowitz has a question. It's nice to one on three. Thank you. Affordable Care Act, known as Obamacare, it is not affordable. Premiums have gone up, deductibles have gone up, co-pays have gone up, prescriptions have gone up, and the coverage has gone down. What will you do to bring the cost down and make coverage better? That, that first one goes to Secretary Thank Clinton you. because you started out the last one to the audience. He wants to start. He can start. Go ahead, no, go ahead, Donald. No, I'm a gentleman, Hillary. Go ahead. 